I would like to welcome you to yet another beautiful session and um, it was it's it's going to be an exciting one for us as um, most of our trades yesterday went as expected and um, we're going to be looking at um, the pairs we talked about yesterday as usual and where we're going to be looking at what has happened and where we need to make adjustment or what plans we need to do going into the New York session. Ah, well, I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. So the first thing we want to be looking at right now is the UK Hoya. And good Lord, the UK Hoya moved significantly as expected as price continued to find higher highs. And we saw this huge expansion during the course of the last New York session yesterday, which moved price over um, how many pips that was? Moved price over 300 pips in our profit. So I don't know if anyone took advantage of this UK hoy yesterday. So um, currently the UK oil is about um, how many pips in profit now? We have um, we have over 400 pips in profit now. Then at this point in time, um, like I said yesterday, we're still going to be using this bullish trend line as our yardstick going into New York session. And um, remember, our take profit target is at one hundred and twenty dollars, and price is currently at one hundred and seventeen point five dollars at this point. So, once we want to be doing, first thing we want to be doing is we want to be moving our stop loss into right below the structure at one one seven dollars. And why are we moving our um, stop loss into that area? First of all, the first thing, why, the reason why I want to move our stop loss is one. Um, we want to lock in some profits so that um, should any um, surprise bearish move happens, at least we're not going to be caught on our west. So we want to be moving our stop loss to somewhere around here. And the reason why that is because since we saw that impulse leg yesterday, we saw price do a consolidation phase around here forming what looks more like a bullish rectangle at this point before we saw that breakout of that structure. So if you allow me to bring out my line chart at this point, we have a resistant level around here. Hold on a second. We have a resistant level around here. And also we have a support level right below this area at this point. So one thing we observed is that we had a breakout of that structure. Um, during the um, early hours of today, we saw a breakout of that structure around, around this area, giving us a sign that there is a bullish momentum still coming on on this one. So what we want to be doing right now is to be moving our stop loss right below the structure around here. Let's say 116.9, 116.5, depending on um, your preference. But I will suggest that let us just keep our stop loss right below the structure as we could be seeing price come back into somewhere around here before we see the trend continuation to the upside. And on the contrary, there is a possibility that price might break down of that structure and do a retest, then probably come down to retest that bullish trend line or probably the previous structure after which we look for structures that support the trend continuation to the upside. So this is what we are going to be looking forward to going into the New York session. We already have a bearish candle running right now on the one time frame and it's going to take around 43 minutes for this candle to be exhausted. So we don't know how far this candle is going to go but there is a possibility that we could have a breakdown where price come be do a retest into the bullish trend line we identified earlier or probably into the structure after which we see that trend continuation to the upside. So that is one phase and the other one is price could probably do a retest into somewhere around here before we see a trend continuation to the upside. And if that happens, that is if price comes back into this area and breaks above one more time, we want to look for a retest on a lower time frame, let's say the 5 minutes, 10 minutes time frame to look for an opportunity to add one position to this. So our take profit target still remain at $120 on the UK oil. So I don't know if you have any questions whatsoever at this point. 
Okay, in the absence of none, uh, let's move forward. Then we move on to the U.S. oil. Um, the same scenario we have here on the U.S. oil as price moved as expected. Remember I said yesterday that we should just allow that stop loss to play out if price comes back to stop loss. But fortunately for us, that didn't happen as we saw price move about um, um, 350, 350, 330 pips move in our direction since um, um, yesterday. And right now, it's very, very appropriate that we move our stop loss to um, respect previous structure at this point. And if we look left, what are we going to be seeing on this one? So allow me to delete all these ones as we no longer need them anymore. So, so that we can have a very clean chart for the sake of clarity. So right now we are having to use this, um, this buy opportunity. We don't need this anymore. And so this is what we have in here at this point. And um, let's look left to look for structures that... Um, we can use our as our stop loss target. Okay, we can have one 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 hundred and thirteen dollars as our stop loss target at this point. After which we look forward to a possible retest of that bearish trend line around here, or probably the key level at one hundred and eleven point fifty dollars, where we'll be looking for structures that support the trend continuation to the upside so our take profit target still remain at um, 122 is it 122 okay 122 let's put it at 120 let's do a round figure at this point so let's keep it at 120 at this point so um we still have a possibility where price will come back down to do a retest of of um the key level has $111.50 or probably come back down to this bearish trend line, this red bearish trend line where we look for um, a reversal pattern that supports a trend continuation to the upside. So now that we have this impulse leg at this area, we can see that um, we are within a structure right now, a consolidation phase at this point that looks more like a bullish rectangle, just like the one we saw on the UK higher. So if you allow me, let's us identify that structure very clearly. We can see that the structure is around this area. And then we have another one right above. Sorry. Excuse me. We have one right above here as well. So um, we have something to play around with going into the New York session. And... Um, this is what so with our stop loss right at one hundred and thirteen dollars, and that's about how many pips? That's um, with one, that's like two hundred and forty pips at one hundred and thirteen dollars. So what we are going to be looking forward to, like I said, is probably price comes back down into this area where we look for structures that support a trend continuation to the upside. And if you are a counter trend trader, then you might want to be looking forward to probably price do a breakdown of that structure then price do a retest that after which we look for confirmations that support a trend continuation to the downside. So we want, if you are a counter trend trader, you want to be taking um, an entry right below the structure. That is, please listen carefully. That is, if price breaks down the structure, price comes back up into this structure, then we look for structures, probably rejections, one, two, three pattern, whatever reversal pattern that is, then we can actually join the decline to the downside. So we, if we have an entry right below structure here, that is if we are doing a counter trend opportunity to scoop the retracement move, then we want to be aiming at the neckline around here as our take profit target. That's $111.50. And that's around, um, I think, how many pips is that? that's around 200 pips and with your stop loss right above that structure around here so with around 50 45 pips 50 45 pips stop loss around the area so on the other side if price does not do as as said that is price does not do that retracement to this downside then if we definitely see a breakout of the structure and uh, that is price closes above you can see since 
since yesterday we, we haven't had a breakout of structure that is we don't have a, a candle that have closed above that structure as we continue to see rejections of that area but right now what i'm saying here is this if we see price break out of the structure that is we have a close above that structure and then we have a retest into the structure then we could take advantage of that potential bullish move if we see structures like supporting a trend continuation to the upside and with a take profit i guess to remaining at 120 dollars so um for those who took advantage of that bullish move kudos to you um another opportunity is to line up for us if price breaks and close above this area then we see a retest of structure then we look for um, patterns that support the trend continuation to the upside so that is that for this scenario let me come again on the counter trend trade on the counter trend trade we am saying that if we have a breakdown of structure that we have a bearish engulf bearish engulfing candle we see a retest into structure then we can look for patterns that support um, a trend continuation to the downside after which we can take our entry right up, up below structure at 113.60 dollars to for the counter trend move okay raf is asking what stop loss we can put here you mean for the bullish move If it's for the bullish move, I have I have said that let's put our stop loss at one hundred and thirteen dollars here. That is this this rectangle, this yellow rectangle here. One hundred and thirteen dollars is where I'm suggesting we put our stop loss on this one. So, like I was saying earlier, if we price do a breakdown of structure, price comes back into structure, then we look for patterns that support a trend continuation. To hop into the potential decline to 111.50 dollars it's very very likely that price comes back down into that trend line after which we see a trend continuation to the upside but for the meantime i would suggest since it's just friday and we're almost closing for the week you could probably hold on to your 200 pips on this one if price does that bearish move however if we see a breakout structure that is to the upside we see candle close right above that structure please listen attentively please we are not only looking for a breakout of structure we are looking for a close above that structure then we see probably price we see price come down into structure um we can actually look at that at our, a lower time frame for this probably 10 minutes or 15 minutes time frame whatever that suits you and we look for structures that support a trend continuation then now we can add a position to our existing bullish potential to the upside with our take profit target still remaining at $120. I don't know if I answered your question, Ralph. Please um, affirm positive or negative to know if I actually answered your question appropriately. Thank you. <laughs> 